My name is Evelyn Castellar, and I live in Federal Way, Washington, and I'm the founder of Projecto Honduras. Projecto Honduras started in 2002. We started with just a small clinic from our uh, farmhouse in Honduras when we uh, noticed that our neighbors were in need of medical care. We started by bringing vitamins and uh, medicine, giving those to just our neighborhood. We were having 25 to 50 people, and it was becoming uncomfortable at the home. So we built a clinic uh, down by the road. Sometimes 200 people a day would come to the clinic. We had the clinic for over three years before the first person from the cloud forest came down from the mountains to the clinic. Then I started to go up into the mountain. The children were blonde and puffy, and, uh, but very lethargic, and it was um, identified as kwashiorkor, which is a, a starvation, it's a protein deficiency. They were dying. These kids need food. They live in mud huts, most without water or electricity, mud floors, and the roofs are leaves. Just about every child has fungus, amoeba, parasites. They don't have shoes. Having to walk and get water from the river, a lot of infectious diseases. I take them immediately to get the infusions of food and blood, and um, then they need long-term care. We provided a lot of real beef, uh, real meat, and also dried beef from the U.S. we sent down there to feed the people because that's what they need is the protein. We invite medical teams to come down and they're just wonderful. So giving and they work so very hard to help with the medicine and the needs for these people. Plus they bring other help, uh, shoes and clothing also. This last trip we were down there for four months. We had six teams come down. Uh, dentists, doctors, cardiologists. We go into the schools and give classes and help. Teach hygiene. We need to keep them alive and then make it so that they can go to school. I have about 2,000 children in this situation. Someday we will get that cloud for us to become a paradise. And the children will live and they'll learn. There'll be schools and roads. When I went to Honduras, it was for selfish reasons and for my health. Now, in the service of others, I'm able to forget my health issues and move forward. And I honestly believe that the prayers of the little children and their love heals me.